exactly what I was going for too. I do know it's a crazy color, but we wanted to go bold with this. We're back here, shoot dang range. We out here, and, back uh, at it again. Back at it again, and we're in the room, as you guys saw. Uh, got texture on the walls, got some trim stuff on the walls, and then boom it! We put the sheetrock up. Uh, we figured we don't need to show you guys that. Yeah, you've already seen it. And then seen it. also, I understand why you and Jared don't really like hanging sheetrock. Because it sucks. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so, guys, we bought paint yes. to put on the walls in here. You guys, I don't know what you're going to think. So don't say no more. I was going to say, so we're not going to say it. Just watch. All right, guys, so we have our paint color. We have it poured. But before we show you, that, I eh, eh, want hands up, off the keyboard, right? And I want you to look at me right here. So there's gonna be a darker color. Hands up, don't say anything. I know this is a, sm <laughs> I know this is a smaller room. Uh, so typically you would wanna do a lighter color. Jason, don't show them yet. All right, so um, I know you would wanna do a lighter color to make it feel bigger, but at the end of the day, we don't really care about that. We want to do a color that we really like and we know it's a smaller room, so we know it's gonna feel smaller, but let's make it pop. So now, we have a dark blue and it's pretty dark. So uh, let's throw it on and see what it looks like. Get it, baby. All right, moment is true. I'm nervous. Oh, <laughs> that's definitely dark. But it's very, it's pretty. Mine. Hands are hurting. Yeah, my arms are hurting. <laughs> they hurt, people. Um, we got, I don't yeah. know, maybe a third of you it. You know what I'm thinking? That we screwed up. No, I'm oh. thinking a paint spray gun situation. Yeah. So we have the sprayer, but the uh, nozzle on it broke. I got already, I'm already gonna switch hands in the can because it hurts <laughs> so much. Um, but as you can tell, we took our hoodies off. It's warm. Yeah, and I really did want to get paint on the uh, shooting ranch. Yeah, maybe. but it is getting warm. Okay. Um, like you were just saying, you're like, I'm about to take this beanie off. Yeah. It, it's warm in here, and it's not cold outside by any means, but with the wind being blocked and all that, like, I truly don't think we're going to have a problem with no insulation. Yeah, no. But you picked the color out. I did. So I'm going to need the hate to kind of yeah. just a little, come bit, down, a little bit. bit. Yeah. We, Again, we know dark colors make the room seem smaller, but, but we, uh, we want to make it pop. Yeah, too. but on that right now, like if you literally like this block half, it feels the same. Yeah. Um, it's it, already, it feels the same. It feels the same. Uh, <laughs> it, it's really not bad at all. Mm -hmm. And honestly, with a light in here, because you can tell where it's, the sun's hitting it, mm -hmm. and it's pretty, it's a blue color. Yeah. So it's really not that bad. Uh, I don't know how it's going to translate on camera. Right? Um, I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Again, just didn't want to do something like boring, no. or light gray. No. Been there, done that. Like, let's do something fun. Something yeah. that we walk in and we're excited to see. Yeah, yeah. and this whole build is is not your conventional build. We yeah. literally took a hole in the shop with a tree growing and yeah. we turned it into a room, no insulation. We kept the old window gunk on Everything. there. We, we kept the ceiling up there like that. I mean, yeah. it's we wanted something different. Yeah, one thing that I absolutely love though too is the contrast in the color right here. This kind of our stain versus this. I think that looks so good and that's exactly what I was going for too. Um, I'm not gonna throw this out there, but I'm gonna throw this out there for you guys listening. 
She even said, that might actually look pretty good as the color outside on the shop. We'll leave it at that. But guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and take a break on this. We're gonna come back with the sprayer and all that stuff. Should go on a lot better, be able to put the stove in. Um, then we gotta start planning our bed, furniture, I flooring, mean, all, all that's that. left is, so at this point, again, stove, flooring, and then the bed. Yeah, so it's just, after this, the final touches. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll plan that out and stuff. But the next time you see this, we should be spraying it, should be finished. Um, with the paint and everything, and a wood burning stove, hopefully with the fire going and everything. Ooh, that's nice. Guys, shoot dang fest. I announced a lot of the details on Coffee the Crockers. I'll put a link down in the description and the top comment if you guys want to check that video out about shoot dang fest. I'll talk more about it in later videos, but you can go check out the Coffee the Crockers. It's all the details, phone numbers, how to get a hold of the uh, hotel and all that stuff. So go check it out. Hopefully we'll see you shoot dang fest and I'll announce more about it later. But for now, let's get back to work. All right, day two of painting. Uh, unfortunately, Daniel had to go to work, so I brought the spray gun out here and we'll see if it gets done any better. Unfortunately, you can see some brush strokes and stuff. We're hoping this will take care of it. This is going to be a million times faster. Alright, I got a spare piece of she rock that I'm going to cover this with so I can spray. We definitely should have done this a long time ago. Since we are spraying it, I got painter's tape and I'm gonna tape the ceiling before I spray it. I'm freaking pumped with the way this is looking. It's looking really cool. Of course, it's still wet in spots, so that's not a big deal. But unfortunately, didn't have enough paint to finish, but we got all this over here, all this done over here, all the way over here, and a little bit on this wall. So what I'm gonna work on now is the wood stove area. I need to cut part of that trim, and I don't want it to bring a, a cord saw in here, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use a little six inch cordless saw. Hopefully it won't mess it up too bad. That was actually a really good clean cut.
This little sucker's awesome. I'm really liking the way this looks. It's a cool little shelf here. I was building it different, as you saw. I had the um, parts coming down like that. Well, I decided, you know what? Let's take that out. Let's make it more open. Let's use some live edge uh, logs from this property. I was already cutting trees down anyways, and it worked perfect. As you saw earlier, I sat on it. It held me up. I weigh like a buck 50 ish so this thing can hold a lot of weight it looks really good it goes with the color that we have on the uh, window but unfortunately i don't have enough paint to finish now i have enough materials and stuff so i gotta run to home depot so i'll be right back all right guys so i'm back i got some more material let's get working again Hopefully it will be enough to finish. Alright guys, so I am done painting. I got it all the way around as you guys can see. From there, I still need to do the window trim on this side and some spackling up top, but I got the uh, paint over there. I did get a little bit on the uh, on the window trim. I'll clean that up, but the paint went all the way around. It's still wet, unfortunately, so it's gonna look a little weird, but I got that window all done up. And then what do you guys think of this fireplace? Unfortunately, it's not hooked in perfectly how it's supposed to be up there. I need to get another part. It's just really hard to figure it out, but I did cut a hole through the wall, so it is ready to be vented out. I just need the right parts. I do know it's a crazy color, but we wanted to go bold with this. So we went bold with it, and Danielle 
Just wanted to do something different, something. It wasn't just plain. I really like it. I know a lot of you probably thinking, it's dark, it's dark, it's dark. It is a little dark in here, but there's literally no lights. The only lights I have are these cheap little shop lights. So, unfortunately, um, it is a little dark in here right now, but once we put a light up in the top, it's going to be really cool. Once the paint dries, it'll look even better. But I am very, very pleased with it. I'm very excited. I love the color scheme of it. It's something totally different. It's something that is bold. It's something that when we come in here, it's just fun. It's fun. It's something that's not diff or it's something that's not plain. It's different. It's exciting. It's cool. It's just how we want to express ourselves. So I am really pumped with this fireplace area. I think it looks awesome. I think the uh, metal on it in the back made it look really good. I know this stove really well. I know some of you guys are saying it needs to be further away from the wall and all that. I know the stove. I know this is perfectly fine. I've used that stove for about two years, so I know how it gets hot and where the heat goes. So I'm not worried about that. But guys, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you like the color. Hopefully you like the bold statements of the uh, stain that we got on the windows and stuff and the uh, trim on that. I think the trim, the metal, and the logs on the bottom really made that sucker pop, so I'm pumped with it. But we got a lot more work to do. We gotta put some flooring in here, do a little bit more stuff on this back wall just because I didn't have enough materials. So we gotta get that done and then we gotta do some stuff in the shop and we gotta dig the pond out, we gotta clear land, we gotta get Jared's stuff ready. Then we gotta get our spot for our tiny house ready. This is not a permanent room to live in. This is very temporary and it'll be an office later. So a lot of stuff's coming. We'll catch you in the next.